Hello to all my beautiful neighbors. Welcome to um, Britt's Block. This is Britt. As you come in, please like the video. And thank you to everyone that helped me get to my goal of 500 subscribers. I appreciate you all. And please continue to subscribe. Subscribe. Tell your neighbors and your friends to come on over to Brit Block and find out what's going on. I also hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be informed. Y'all, I'm counting on the weather so my voice is in and out, so just bear with me. But I just had a question. Let me, let me start by saying my name is Brit. That's my nickname. And when I was born, I was born by myself. I, didn't, I don't have a twin or a triplet, which means I have my own mind. But I heard somebody today say that every time something is said, they are going to blame Melody for it. And I just, I just don't understand that. It's getting to the point where I don't care what goes on on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Everything is always thrown on Melanie's back. She got enough things she got to deal with. And throwing what somebody else says on her, number one, is not right. And then number two, it doesn't make any sense. Now, if, to my understanding, all the millimeters, you know, they we have our own different lives and we have our own families, kids and jobs, and we definitely have our own minds. So if we say something, Melanie is not making us say it. And then they want to blame all the beef that's going on on YouTube and everywhere else on Melody. She probably don't even know what's going on over here, who's saying what. And most likely, if she like me, just don't care. It ain't got nothing to do with me. My name ain't in it. You know, it doesn't bother me. But I just need everybody to understand that we are all individual people. This is the United States. We have the freedom of speech. And as content creators or as subs or whatever, whenever we say something, that's in our opinion. That's what we're thinking. And nobody thinks alike. You know, we may, you know, some of our thoughts may be on the same spectrum, but we don't think alike. We ain't going to maybe not say it like or anything. But for you to say that every time something is said, and you don't care who said it, but it's going to be her fault. And I just need somebody to help me. Help me understand that because I can't blame what somebody else think on somebody else. And then, then for them to say that what's said is that because it's said because Melody puts the battery in people's backs. Last I checked, I don't think I got my back or tattoos. And it's not a battery. They, it's just a butterfly in the crown that says bliss. It's not a battery pack. So let that lady be great. Let Melody life. Let her live her life. She don't bother nobody. One thing I can say about Melanie that I appreciate is that she's not on here throwing stones and hiding her hands. She's not calling nobody and say, say this or say that. Now, people, they will start stuff with you and then blame it on somebody. It's like, just like the situation with Stormy. Stormy threw this first shot by putting their post on Instagram. That's the blame of a message. And think nobody was going to retaliate or see it. So if you don't want to speak on nobody speak on something, don't say it. If you bring up issues, people got the right to talk about it. So back to my other question is, why is everything Melanie fault? This lady has moved on, doing good for herself. She ain't worried about nobody's business. And then to say what Melanie said the other day that she was going off social media for a few days after this phase. Which to me is logical, because when you've been before God for 24 hours and you seeking something from God, sometimes you need to get to, get to a place where you need quiet. Because when you're looking at stuff on social media, TV, anything that's outside of your own mind, that stuff gets in your spirit. It can tank what God is trying to tell you to do. Oh, the, re the reason why she got off social media for these few days because she didn't want to have to respond to what's going on. She may not even know what's going on. That's not the reason why she got off of social media. You ain't God and you're not a mind reader. Now, if you work with Dionne Ward and her psychic network friends, and you got a crystal ball, then let us all know. Maybe we might, we might want to look at our future too. But I don't think so. So that's not the reason why she got off. Some of these people, women and men, 
I'm just not going to un understand them. I don't know if they just stupid or dumb. Because y'all want to say the millimeters are with her for trauma bonding. We all ain't been through the same thing she's been through. I ain't been through that. And a lot of people haven't been through that. That's not the reason why people are millimeters. And then to say that the, this show was built on her, her trauma. And that's all she talk about on this show. Melly don't even bring that up that often. The reason why her trauma or what she been through comes up because that's the storyline of the Scots 1.0, 2.0, Stormy. Everybody else used her issues as their storyline. And Martell is the one that's always whining and crying. So how do you feel like we trauma bonding against about her issues? Because a lot of us haven't been through that. And, but we don't want to see no woman go through that mess and don't have to go through that mess. So make that make sense. That's another question I have. How do you put everybody in the same category? We all individual people, individual lives, individual situations. So no, I'm not trying to bundle with nobody, but I'm, a wo but I'm a woman that stand for right and not wrong. And the last dumb thing I heard was that it's mainly fault the reason why she is no longer married to Mortel. Now, I want to know who thank you for you. There is no one that's going to continue to let a man cheat on you time and time again. Not only that, but to have the woman to have a baby. And she disrespectful. Calling your house. And you think I'm supposed to stay with him? And then they want to blame it on trauma bonding. Ain't no trip ain't nobody trauma bonding. That's having good sense. That's having common sense. Nobody that I'm gonna be with gonna continue to cheat on me time after time after time. First time, shame on them. Second time, shame on me. Third time, you just a damn fool. So it's high time that people stop blaming Melody and the millimeters for everything that go on in this world. We are all individual people with our own thoughts. Some of them may be the same. We ain't got to like each other. You ain't got to like Melanie. You ain't got to like Mattel. You ain't got to like Stormy. You ain't got to like none of them people. But what you got to do is stop putting your mouth on people and saying what, what they doing. And then for you to, you know, Somebody say, well, you know, I'm not really big out here in this community. Well, if you small, you just like me. She probably don't even know you even exist. So, y'all, just help me understand. I'm scratching my head, baffled, because you're going to say everything that's come out somebody else's mouth, you're going to blame it on Melody from now on. And I just need a clear understanding of why. Get off that lady back. She ain't, she ain't saying that to nobody or doing anything to nobody. So the reason why the millimeters are around and could continue to be around and even just the followers because that lady needed our help from the beginning because she was in this fight by herself. And I'm going to continue to say that she was in a game fight for, by, her, by herself. And if it wasn't for the people rallying around her, she'll be out here this alone, she'll still be winning because she got that man, she got that mindset. But y'all, that's all I got for you. Like, comment, and subscribe, and just get in the comments to help me help me understand why Melody can, Melody can't be great. So y'all, you already know what to do. Let's have a great day on purpose.